All right, so we're gonna start in standing. Feet are um, hip distance apart, and we're gonna work on just starting to feel the floor. And I want you to check in with where is um, your weight. Are you more on your right leg, on your left leg? Are you right in the center? Are you more forward or backwards? So first step is just checking in with where we're at. And then checking in with our posture. Are you standing up tall? Are you maybe leaned over a little bit to the side? So once we've checked in, know our starting place, what we're gonna work on is just weight shifting onto our right leg and then weight shift to our left. Weight shift. So we're just doing a nice big weight shift, rolling through our feet, warming up our feet, standing tall as we do this. And then let's do one more on each side and then we'll come back to center and check in again. Are you more on the right or the left or are you in center now? From here, we're gonna work on weight shifting forward towards our toes and then back towards our heels. This isn't such a big weight shift that you're going up onto your toes and then rocking back onto your heels. You're just moving your weight towards your toes and then towards your heels, towards your toes, and then towards your heels. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes heels. And now let's come back to center. Again, checking in with where we are. We're more on the right or the left, more forward or backwards. Um, and so if you are more on one side or the other, I want you to try to find center. And from here, we're going to take a big breath in, float our arms up, reaching for the side. Uh, the sky and we're going to side bend over breathe in and lift up look up at the sky or the ceiling breathe out and side bend over breathe in float up breathe out and side bend Breathe in, float up, look up at the ceiling, breathe out, and side bend. Breathe in, float up. As you're looking at this ceiling, we're going to pause here for a second. I'm going to have you work on trying to extend your spine, really stand tall. and work on some nice deep breaths here. Let's do one more breath. And then let's do three more side bends each way. So side bend, breathe in and lift. Side bend, breathe in and lift. Each time, Working on standing tall and lift, side bend, lift. Let's do one more on each side. Side bend and lift, side bend and lift. Let's float our arms down. And from here, we're going to use our chair. And we're, so we're warming up our spine. Again, I want your feet hip distance apart. 
you're going to use the top of your chair and we're going to work on coming down into a child's pose position to stretch out your back extending your spine and then from here we're going to work on just lifting our collarbones up so we're working on pressing down on the top of the chair and lifting into extension and then coming back down into a child's pose and then lift into extension breathe out come back into child's pose breathe in and lift Breathe out, drop down. Breathe in and lift. So we're really trying to match our movement with the breath. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out and drop. Let's do three more. Breathe in and lift. Drop it back, breathe in and lift, drop it back. Let's do one more, breathe in and lift and drop it back. And let's roll up here, come back to standing. And from here, let's come into a forward lunge. And you can use your chair for balance. And what we're gonna work on is lunging forward and then extending that forward knee. And so what the arms are gonna do, they're gonna extend back as you're standing tall. And then as you lunge forward, we're gonna raise our arms up. And then as we come back, we bring our arms into extension. Stand tall, open up our chest. So we're gonna do 10 of these with our breath. So we're gonna breathe in and lift up, breathe out, extend and open. Breathe in, lift up, breathe out, extend and open. Breathe in and lift up, breathe out, and open. Breathe in and lift up, breathe out and open. Breathe in and lift up, breathe out and open. Breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, let's do two more. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's bring our feet back to center, keeping your feet about hip distance apart. If you need a chair, that's okay. And we're gonna work on going up onto our toes and then nice and slow back down. When you're coming down, I want you to imagine there's an egg underneath your feet. We don't wanna have scrambled eggs. So we're gonna float up and then bring it down nice and controlled. You're gonna breathe in as you lift and then breathe out as you come down. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you come down. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you come down. 
breathe in as you lift, out as you come down. Breathe in as you lift, out as you come down. Breathe in as you lift, out as you come down. Let's do one more. Breathe in as you lift and out as you come down. And from here, let's now take our other foot forward into a lunge. And we're gonna do that same forward and backward weight shift with our arms. So we're gonna breathe in, come into that lunge, lift up, and then breathe out. Drop our arms, standing tall, opening up through our shoulders. Breathing in and lifting up, breathing out and open. Breathing in and lifting, breathing out and open. Breathe in and lift, breathe out and open. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, open. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, and open. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, and open. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, and open. Let's do two more. Breathe in and lift, breathe out, and open. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, and open. Let's come back getting our feet hip distance apart. We're gonna do another round of those heel raises, really working on moving through our feet, and then as you're coming down, rolling through your foot. So don't think so much that it's just dropping your heels down, it's that you're actually moving through your foot, getting your toes working too, and of course, matching it with your breath. All right, so we're gonna lift up, and drop it down. So we'll do 10 of these. And this can really be at your own pace as we're trying to match this with our breath. You're just working on rolling through your feet. And let's do two more. All right, and then let's get grounded again. So finding center. My hope for you is that each time we're working on finding center, as we're going through class, it gets a little bit easier, um, that you're not so weight shifted to one side or the other. So from here, um, we're in mountain pose, um, and we're gonna weight shift over to one leg, and you can hold onto your chair if you'd like, and we're going to just extend our leg. I'm just gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. So my toe is just hovering over um, the ground and you can hold on. So we're working on standing tall and really being strong on our standing leg. And then let's bring that foot in. Again, get tall. And Take a couple nice deep breaths, make sure you're breathing. And then we are gonna weight shift, extend your leg back, 
and you can hold on and then just lift your toe up just so it's hovering over the ground. And bring it back in. Again, finding center, hopefully being grounded through both of your feet. Standing tall, making sure you're breathing. And let's weight shift. Bring your leg back and just lift your toe up so it's hovering the ground. And bring it back in. Stand tall. Check in with your feet. Let's weight shift. Bring your leg back. And then just lift your toe. While you're working on keeping your trunk and your standing leg engaged. And bring it back in. I'm going to do it one more time on each side. So stand tall and shift, bring your leg back and just lift your toe up. And bring it back in, get grounded and weight shift. Bring your leg back and lift. And bring it back in. All right. And you knew it wouldn't be a class with me without stand ups and sit downs. I love them but we're going to do a yoga approach to our stand-ups and sit-downs. <laughs> so what we're going to work on is as you're standing, we're going to do a big breath in. We're going to open up our arms really. Try to breathe in through our whole chest and then breathe out. You're going to reach your arms down. Okay. And let's do... We'll only do 10 because we'll circle back to this. All right, so we're breathing in and opening big breath, breathe out, reach down, sit tall, breathe in, open, breathe out, come down, sit tall, breathe in, open, breathe out, 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 and sit tall. Let's do two more. Breathe in, open, breathe out, and sit tall. Breathe in and open and then breathe out, sit tall. Well, those looked lovely. You, you all look like professional sit to standers right now. All right, so let's get standing back up and we're gonna work on using now the seat of our chair. And we've done this in other classes is thread the needle. So we're gonna put our hands 
on the seat of the chair with one hand in the center. And we're gonna breathe in, float our arm up, follow it with your hand opening up your chest, and then you breathe out, float your arm down. And then let's weight shift and do the other side. Breathe in and lift up, breathe out and down. Breathe in and lift and breathe out and down. Breathe in and lift, breathe out, down. Breathe in and lift, breathe out and down. Breathe in, lift, Breathe out, down. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out, down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, down. Breathe in and lift. You're trying to get up as high as you can to the ceiling, really opening up through your chest. Let's do one more on each side. Breathe in, lift, bring it down, bring it in, and down. From here, we're gonna walk our feet out so we're gonna be in a plank position. And what I want us to really focus on here is your breathing. So keeping this plank position, we're gonna work on breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, engaging your core, and trying to keep your spine in a straight line. We're gonna hold this for 10 more seconds. And let's walk our feet in. And we're gonna drop down into a child's pose, really focusing on getting a nice stretch through our low back and our hamstrings. And let's do five big breaths here. And hopefully with each breath, you may feel some muscle tension relax or melt away and you're able to go a little bit further into the stretch. Maybe rocking your hips back a little bit. And then let's bring our weight forward. So we're in um, on our hands with our elbows extended and let's do some cat and cow just to get some more movement through our spine so you're going to pull your belly in and drop your head and then drop your belly and lift up pull in and drop your head and then drop your belly and lift your head up so breathing in is when you round through your spine. Breathing out is when you're extending. And this you're really doing at your own pace, having it match your breath.
Well, I am glad that we are not in the park walking right now because it is a downpour. Let's do two more here. And then when you're ready, you're going to roll up, come back to stand. And then again, we're going to check in with our feet, just finding center, working on being grounded. And if you feel like you're, you're shifted more to one side, do a couple weight shifts to find center again. And let's just do a couple breaths here. And then let's bring our arms up. We're gonna do side bending again. We're gonna side bend. Breathe in, extend, and then side bend. You're breathing out, breathing in, and extend. Side bend, breathing in, and extend. Side bend. And lift up and extend. Hopefully you're feeling like you have a little bit more mobility than when we first started. Let's do one more on each side. And let's bring our arms down and let's bring our arms reaching forward. We're going to open up through our chest, looking behind us and then bring it back in. And then you're, let's do the other side. You're going to open as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, come back to center, breathe in and open, breathe out, come back to center. As you're doing this, you're opening up through your chest, you're getting some nice rotation through your spine, hopefully your pelvis, your hips. And let's just do a couple more, really focused on your breath, and doing this at your own pace. And let's float our arms down and we'll use our chair again. And we're going to work on coming in to tree pose. So tree pose, you can have your foot resting down here by your ankle, below your knee, or if you're really good, way up here, not that flexible. Um, and so we work on really engaging our standing leg, engaging our glutes on that standing leg, standing tall, and then getting your foot into position, whatever feels comfortable to you. And hands can be down here. You can bring them here or if you really feel comfortable raising them up here. And let's switch sides. 
So engaging our standing leg, weight shift over, and then find where on your leg that feels comfortable. And you're able to breathe and keep your core engaged. And you may find that your foot and ankle on your standing leg are doing little corrections. And that's great. That's what we want those muscles to be doing. And then let's float it down. Let's do it one more time on each side. So engage your standing leg, bring your foot to a place that feels comfortable, really grow tall through your spine. And as you're working on maintaining your balance, also work on some nice deep breathing, filling the lower parts of your lungs. And let's float it down. One more time on your other side. And then when you're ready, let's float your foot down and then we're going to come to sitting. Here in sitting, we're going to use the back of our chair to work on extending our spine. So what you're going to do is um, you can bring your hands back behind your head with your feet grounded on the floor. And we're gonna work on just breathing in, extending over the back of our chair, breathing out, and coming forward, breathing in, extending, breathing out, breathing in, and extend, breathe out. Breathing in and out. If you'd like, you can find a different spot on your spine. So you can either scoot your hips forward or back, play around with it. And by changing where your hips are in your chair, that impacts where the back of the chair is hitting your back. And you can get some nice extension at different spine levels. So, so often in life, we're spending time hunched over more forward that it's nice to really open up through our spine. Let's do two more. And then when you're ready, let's scoot forward in the chair. You're gonna bring your feet farther apart, opening up at your knees. And we're gonna drop down onto one elbow, side bend over, really reach. If you want, you can even slide your leg out. So you're trying to make your body as long as you can and breathe in. Bring it in. Let's do that again. Reaching through your leg and your arm, really stretching that side. 
slide it back in. And then reach, lengthening through your body. Really trying to breathe in through this side and your rib cage. And come back in. And now let's do the other side. So you're going to come down onto your elbow, reach. And if you want, you can extend your leg, making your body as long as you can. And bring it in. And breathe and stretch. And bring it in. And lengthen. And bring it in. From here, let's get our feet grounded. And we're going to work on, you can hook using the back of your chair. We're going to work on breathing, lengthening through our spine and rotating back. And let's come back to center and twist the other way, sitting up tall and come back to center. Let's do one more time on each side and twist, really lengthening through our spine, sitting up tall. And come back to center. And other side. And let's come back to center. And then let's bring our foot up, crossing it over our other leg, opening up through our hip, sitting up nice and tall. And then if it feels comfortable, let's lean forward. And while you're here, you can stretch out your ankle. So pulling your toes gently down, opening up the top part of your foot. And then if you'd like, you can pull your toes up, stretching the arch of your foot. And then let's float our foot down. And let's bring our other foot up, growing tall through our spine, opening up this hip, and then leaning forward if that feels comfortable. And then if you want, you can add in a nice stretch for your foot and ankle, giving a gentle pull to the tops of your foot. And then if you'd like, pulling up.
And then when you're ready, you can drop your foot. And let's finish with some nice deep breathing. So you can either do this in sitting, eyes closed, feet grounded, or you can add in your arms to really work on some nice trunk extension, your choice. So we're gonna breathe in for four counts and then breathe out for four counts. So breathing in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, let's do one more, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. You all did a wonderful job today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you